76 days and counting. That's how long a Florida scientist has been living underwater. You heard me right. We have told you here on the morning show about Joe Dottori. The former naval officer is the first person to live that long underwater without depressurization. He plans to stay there until June the 9th. <laughs> Joining us this morning to talk about this really incredible experiment because that's what it is, the lead doctor on this feat, Dr. Sarah Selzberg. Good to have you on. It's so exciting. And I know that you're local, but you're going down there and, and you're leading the charge. I, I'm, I'm the team lead for this, uh, for this project and I'm so excited about it. And thank you very much for having me on today so we can talk about our outreach and our, and our studies. Um, I've been diving down there once or twice a month uh, to do checkups on him. It's the ultimate house call. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. I was going to say, I know a lot of doctors, none of them scuba dive to their patients. <laughs> I think You're the first. The first. <laughs> I think we have, the, we have the first longest stay underwater. I think we have the first underwater blood draw, um, possibly the first underwater uh, ultrasound at pressure. And it's just been very exciting. Yeah, Dr. Spelsberg, tell me about the, the mission. What is this all about? What are we trying to learn? Uh, and, and Joe is a visionary, and, and so it's not just about like, oh, I'm going to break this world record. That just happened to be a byproduct of, sure. of the study. Um, he's all about outreach and education. He's teaching classes every day to colleges and middle school uh, classes. He has some research projects that are going on at the same time uh, where uh, uh, middle schoolers are growing some seeds under a light and then he's growing them at pressure at the same time. And then we're trying to see what being at this pressure does to the human body. Mm -hmm. So we're drawing blood, we're taking urine, we're taking saliva, and we're doing all sorts of studies on him, EKGs uh, twice a week, EEGs, and we're trying to see what changes? He's a healthy guy. Very. He's obviously in good shape. <laughs> he is. He's a beast. How's his body doing? It's, he's, he's great. He's very strong. He's been working out with these katsu bands um, every day. And so he's, he's maintained his muscle mass, has maintained his weight. And, um, and so it's, yeah, it's, he's, he's maintained down there very well. And he swims every day. So it's a combination of the wet and the dry diving. Okay. All right. So he, he does that. What, what's it like down there in his, would I say, capsule pod? Capsule pod. It, it's, it's small. Um, mm. It's definitely a confined space. Like it would not be for claustrophobic. I'm I mean, not interested. It's, it's, I would maybe go down there. And, <laughs> he's got a fridge. Put your head up. He does kitchen. have a fridge. It's about 100 <laughs> square feet of livable space. Um, it's actually really enchanting down there. I mean, you, you swim down and you come up through this moon pool into this central area. And from there you can shower and clean up. And then there are two state rooms that you can where people can sleep there's you and there's us coming <laughs> that's the moon pool and then um there's a central living area where that uh green um green window is where he's uh, normally uh, posts up to uh, do work and that's where he cooks and that's where he um does interviews and meets with everybody so i know that you 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 kind of live in Jacksonville. You're, yes. you're all over. You, you play in a band. I don't know what you don't do, Sarah. <laughs> but tell me about becoming the lead. What, what was your background to be able to get this assignment? It was, I mean, it, so I worked as a physician assistant out in the Aleutian Islands for many years, and I sort of became known for doing a lot of fairly extraordinary medevacs. And then through that, I met the World Extreme Medical Society, Mark Hannaford lead, and through that, I was introduced to Joseph Dituri. And after Joe reviewed um, my resume and, and submission for the Explorers Club, he said, I want you in charge of every expedition I do from now on. Wow, and then that's when, a lot of trust. It's so much trust. And, and I definitely had a moment of imposter syndrome uh, when it first happened. But we were in Scotland, and we were both speaking at this conference, and he walked up and put this pin on me, and he said, uh, you're my team doctor, you're my team lead. This is what I'm going to do. It's going to be crazy. And I said, okay, I'll, I'll rise to the occasion. That's really special. So what's it going to be like over the next 25 or so days until he, he comes back to the surface? It's, it's getting, I mean, honestly, time feels like it's, it's flying and um, it's, it's just flying past us. Uh, and, um, and also, I had just graduated from medical school. So when he asked me, I'm like, I'm a brand new doctor and I'm going to lead this whole team. Well, I'll, I'll do my best. But you've done a lot <laughs> in the medical lot. field as a great. PA, yeah. medevacking people, helicopters, all that stuff. She's a really great follow <laughs> on social media. <laughs> it's been, it's been a, an incredible adventure. Um, everything's speeding up. You know, we're getting more and more requests for people who are like, oh, I want to try this technology down there or that technology down there. Um, we did get one inquiry from um, a grad student 
who asked to help us analyze some of our data. And that was like, hey, this is how I can add value. So that was one request we said yes to. Um, but I think, I think time's just going to fly, and then June 9th is going to come. Uh, he's, we've got this fairly elaborate decompression plan f to try to keep him safe and get him to off-gas the bubbles that you yeah. accumulate when you're down at depth. Um, I don't know how familiar everyone is with uh, scuba diving, but you have to do decompression. You have to do stops for safety. Yeah, just pop right off. No, and yeah. no one spent 100 days. So we, we don't actually know what this has done. Um, and so we're going to, we'll ultrasound him at the surface and we'll do a neuro exam and then hopefully say he's clear and let him talk to the media. All right. Awesome. Well, we hope to have him on the show when he comes yes. out. Give him our best. I know you're going to go swim to him, dive tomorrow. to him tomorrow. Dr. Yeah. Sarah Spellsberg, thank you so much for what you do and really enjoyed talking with you about this thank mission. Thank you so much. And thank you, Vic. Thank you, all of you.